I have a true story slash true confession I want to share with everybody. Um, my second, when I was part of my second son, my first trimester, I was super, super sick. I mean, I was just yakking all the time. Um, didn't matter if it was, I just drank a cup of water and then I went down too early after, didn't let it, let it settle, it would just come right back up or all kinds of smells, way worse than my first uh, son. So I ended up losing 12 pounds um, my first trimester. So my second and third trimester, I ended up having all kinds of different anti-nausea medication that was prescribed to me and I would take it. It wouldn't uh, take the nausea completely away, but it definitely just it was a little bit better so that I wasn't so miserable. Um, but with that, I was able to eat or I had little windows of feeling really good after taking the medication, so then I would just eat. And of course my choices of food were horrible. Uh, I worked part-time then, and every day after I got off of work, before I got home, I would always either stop by Wendy's, Burger King, Sonic, or Jack in the Box. And I don't know if y'all know or pay attention, but on the back of a lot of those receipts, uh, if you call in, you get a code for like, a free extra burger or a free extra fry and I was like notorious for doing that so not only would I usually get a burger a fry and then I would get my iced tea um, I'd also get the free whatever so I wouldn't eat them all at the same time but I definitely like save that extra burger or if I had the extra fries and I would sometimes give it to my son because um, you know he's seeing me eat all this junky food and how can I be like no it's just for mommy you can't eat it to eat healthy um, so yeah, I gained 50 plus pounds. I don't know. I stopped paying attention to the scale by the end of my pregnancy. I just told him, I didn't really like, don't tell me the number. I don't need to, to know it. If you need to write it down on the scale, awesome. But I don't need to know the number. Um, so I know it was like 50 plus pounds and I was very close to being diagnosed with gestational diabetes as well. Um, I had to take that, I had to take the three hour test, but then also every time my last trimester every week um, I ended up getting like you know my, my blood sugar they prick it every single time and I'd have to like pray that it was within normal and if it wasn't then they want they wanted me to just sit there for another 30 minutes and do it again which was horrible but that had to that was my fault it was what I was eating and I never really put that together until after I had my son and realized, you know, I had some complications um, after delivery. We both um, end up having a fever. So immediately, first thing, this poor little baby's born, he has to go on antibiotics. Um, he was jaundiced. And then for myself, we don't really know what happened, but when it was time for me to like try to get up and walk around, I ended up going to the bathroom and I passed out. Um, on the ground, blood everywhere, and my parents are sitting there wondering what the heck is going on. They got this little baby in the room, and five nurses are rushing in and uh, trying to re get me back, revive me, and they had to do um, two rounds of smelling salt. That's how out I was. Um, so that really scared me. I got home, and I'm thinking, okay, I don't ever want that to happen again, and I need to make sure that I don't have any other medical issues that I can prevent. And so the way that I made sure I went about that was reassessing everything. I knew I needed to just have a revamp, a real life change, you know, get back to exercising when I got that green light and, you know, really just little by little try to get back into a healthier eating habits, not just for myself, but as an example for my son and as well as for my husband. I mean, my life and my husband's life, we are a part of fitness and exercise and being healthy, so we have to actually lead by example. Um, so that was where I was and I thought I'm never going to get back to my pre-baby weight. Maybe this is just how it is, you know, maybe this is just what part of being a mom is, you know, like you sacrifice your body to have your children and that's okay. And you know, it's all good. And I had a skinny body and I had an athletic body back then. And so now I'm just going to focus on the kids and whatever, you know, whatever happens to me is just an aftermath. Um, but then I started to see more people and trying to get more active on Facebook. And I saw a couple of my friends like 
Mary and Rachel, uh, they have kids and you know, they're my age or maybe younger, but they looked amazing. I'm like, okay, so maybe it's not just, oh, you had a baby, you had kids and now you're just, you're never going to get, um, fit. And now you've got my, my little one here. Um, so I share this because I want everybody to know that I did not start off with this like plethora of nutritional knowledge. I'm still learning and I've learned a lot. And what I attribute it to is initially starting drinking, starting to drink Shakeology. You know, that really opened my eyes as to what was in the shakes that I was drinking in the past and really writing down how did I feel afterwards? You know, what did I eat and how did it make me feel? What did I end up doing that day? You know, was I able to do more things? Was I less tired? Was I having less cravings? Was I, you know, wanting to eat, you know, one less Oreo? Or um, was I able to be like, no, I'm full. I don't need to, you know, finish what's on my kid's plate. Those kinds of things. And it really, really got me back into that mode of assessing what I need, how it makes me feel, and then in the end, am I getting results that I want, you know, or am I just continuing to eat and drink these things because it's cheaper, because it's what everybody else does, because that's what I've been told to do. So I just want you all to know that I don't push and I don't try to be salesy or anything. I just want to share that this has worked for me, that I am in the best shape ever in my life, and I would not ever want to go back to have my unhealthy habits, but I'm so glad that I had those moments or else I would not be able to appreciate where I am at now.